Welcome back everyone to Living Survival and today we're going to take a look at the ultimate, the ultimate headlamp. The best headlamp that I've ever owned, the best headlamp that I've ever reviewed. Now that doesn't mean that it doesn't come with a few cons and of course I'm going to go over all the things I like about it, maybe some things that I don't like about it. Today we're going to look at the brand new HM65RT headlamp from Phoenix Flashlights. Did I say this thing was awesome? Let me pull you in for a closer look. Man, do I love showing you guys awesome products. I'm really excited to show you guys this one. This is the brand new Phoenix HM65R-T. Now they do have an HM65R. This one is a little newer version and I'll show you some of the differences. So let's take a look at the form and then we'll look at the function. This is made out of magnesium alloy. It's 30% lighter than aluminum alloy. So even though it is an 18650 uh, powered headlamp, it is a lot lighter. It comes in at 3.21 ounces without the battery. It does have a 3500 milliamp uh, rechargeable 18650 that comes with it. It's also USB-C rechargeable so it charges in less than three hours. So right off the bat, the just the form of the actual light itself is awesome. As with most headlamps, it does have a rotate down feature. So you can use either side to rotate that down. And one of the nice things is, is that it not only has a, um, a functional lockout, you do that by holding down uh, the two buttons and it'll lock the light out, but it also has a little bit of a cover here that covers the the uh, power buttons here. So when it is uh, folded back up into its, you know, back up into the, the headlamp strap there, it does have a little bit of a comp uh, cover preventing accidental activation. So that's really nice. Moving on to the headband, very, very nice wide headband. You'll notice there is no center strap on this one. A lot of uh, headlamps that are this size, 18650, they have the center uh, headband strap there to help uh, secure it on your head. But since this was made for running um, and you know outdoor activity, they made the headband a little bit wider and removed the center strap. Now, to me, that's an awesome feature. I don't like the center strap on headlamps. I usually remove it. Having that extra bit of thickness here really does help out a lot to make that comfortable on your head. Uh, not only that, but when you have the center strap on, uh, winter, hat, winter hat, for example, mine has a palm on the top, uh, my ice fishing hat. So if I had the center strap, I'd have to move that off to one side or the other. And that's mainly what I've been using this headlamp for is ice fishing. And you'll see some footage of that. It has a really unique um, tensioning system or tightening system other than the, you know, the typical, uh, the typical two clips that you would stretch out to tighten it. It has just this kind of pop button here and what you do is you pop it up. So you just pull this out, you hear the click, you just pull it up like that and then you can stretch the band out. Now to tighten it, once it's on your head, this just clicks back in and you simply just rotate this and you can see that getting tighter there. So it's really easy to use. It's one-handed use. You can pop this open, you can stretch it out, you can pop it on your head, and then just pop this down and tighten it to whatever tension you want. So that's fantastic. I haven't seen that on a headlamp, and that works really well. It keeps it nice and snug and secure on your head, and it doesn't feel like you're wearing an 18650 uh, headlamp as far as weight goes. So again, um, magnesium alloy 18650, on the bottom here, when we fold it out, is your USB-C port. It is IP68 uh, waterproof and dustproof down to two meters, so you don't have to worry about getting this thing wet. And then another great feature of this light is that it features two LEDs. Um, one is a floodlight and one is a spotlight. The spotlight on the right here is an SST40 LED and then the floodlight is a Cree XP G2. And another fantastic thing is the floodlight is neutral white and the spotlight is cool white. So how cool is that? You know, I usually go for the neutral white, but sometimes when you want to shine light uh, a distance in a spotlight, for example, I always want the cool white. So this one has both. You get the neutral for that nice uh, 
you know, color quality up close. When you're, uh, when I'm in my um, ice house, for example, or when you're in a, you know, a, a camp situation, you can have that nice neutral light. And then when you want to shine out a little bit further, whether you are running, biking, hiking, or as I am walking on the ice, and the difference in, in between the neutral white and the uh, the cool white is super cool. Another fantastic feature is that you have a, a separate button for each light. Now, a lot of lights make it really complicated, even if they have two lights. Uh, Black Diamond, for example, I carried their, I think it's their Spot model, where it had two different lights. Several other lights I own have two different lights, and they're all operated by a single mode button, which is frustrating because you always just got to click through all the different modes. You know, you got to turn it on, you got to hold it down to flip light, or you got to press it a bunch of times to flip light. That isn't the case with this headlamp. It's super simple, super straightforward to use. You simply just hold the button down and it's gonna illuminate whichever side you want. You could hold down the other side too and you can sort of see there, I'll show you some wall shots, but you can see that it's neutral white on this side and cool white on that side. And again, you just long press to turn it off and to switch the mode, you simply just press the button and it'll go through your different mo brightness modes. So that's our different brightness modes on the uh, flood, flood version. We'll turn that off. On the spot side, you do the same thing. You just hold it down to turn it on and then you can just cycle through your different uh, light levels. I'll go through the light levels in a moment. One other thing I wanna show you up top here is that if you just single press, it shows you a battery status. Love it, love having that as an actual readout and not something where you have to press a button and you have to count the flashes of the light or you gotta count the flashes of you know a little LED. This is just simple and straightforward. It's got four bars there. You've got your 80 to 100% uh, uh, when they're all on. You've got your 60 to 80 when there's three of them. You've got your 40 to 60 when there's two of them and you've got your 20 to 40 when there is one of them, and I believe when it starts flashing, you're zero to 20%. So I can take just a quick glance there and know where my headlamp is at, whether I'm just heading out or whether I'm out there and I wanna know how much battery I have left. Now, speaking of battery, this has a ton of battery life. So on the flood side, we'll talk about that first. You've got a low five lumen mode that's gonna run for 300 hours. So tons of time there. That's what I use in the ice house. I just have it on that on that lowest, brightest setting and I'm getting 300 hours with that amount of light. Stepping up there to 70 lumens, it's gonna run for 36 hours. Again, you know, um, ton of time there for uh, 70 lumens, which is a great brightness level. And then on up to its max at 400 lumens, that's gonna run for 12 hours. And then when we move over to the spot side here, you've got a low 130. So that's what the uh, low is gonna be there. And then it jumps, uh, or that runs for 24 hours. So even on the spot side, you get a ton of time with the, uh, the 130 lumens. 400 lumens, 12 hours. So all day long, constantly on at that 400 lumen, which is plenty bright. Uh, you're gonna get 12 hours. And then on up to its brightness, brightest, which is 1300 lumens, you're gonna get four hours worth of that. Now you can turn these both on at the same time. And they say that uh, when these are both maxed out, that's 1500 lumens. Um, so, you know, you could do that. That's gonna give you not only light in the, you know, right in front of you in the immediate area, but it's also gonna give you that, that light that shines further. I tend to like to use one or the other, but with, so, with how simple this is, it's super simple, super straightforward to, uh, to turn those on and to use them, and not only that, but to uh, click through the different brightness levels. I don't mind having to hold it uh, down to activate it. Uh, that's sort of another, a third built-in sort of accidental activation. You've got the digital lockout, then you've got the, uh, the cover here, and then you also have to hold it to turn it on. So I don't mind that. I'd much rather have to hold it to turn it on and then be able to simple click through my brightness than to just single click it on and then have to hold through my brightness, especially with cold hands it's nice to have it on and then just a single tap uh, gets you into those different brightness levels so for something that you're wearing gloves or you're wearing a hat um, with your headlamp cold weather for example absolutely awesome as far as the uh, the simple ease of use of this headlamp to access the battery there is a cap on the side that says open you just unscrew that and you're going to get your battery that is a, again, a 3,500 uh, milliamp battery. It is a standard uh, 18650, so no special, uh, no special battery here. Um, it does have an O-ring. It is nicely lubricated, so that's nice. And again, even this cap is like feather light being made of this magnesium. 
uh, alloy. So it's awesome to have this much power, this much runtime, uh, all in a lightweight package uh, that has just every mode that that I that I use the floodlight and the spotlight, and having that neutral light and that and that cool white light is uh, that was a surprise to me, and that was awesome uh, to see that built on this light. So a few cons that I have, uh, or that you could maybe consider cons, is that there's no red light. Um, I did read on some forums that they are possibly going to integrate a red light um, in this headlamp in a future version. It also doesn't have any special mode, so it doesn't have strobe, it doesn't have SOS. Again, not a deal breaker at all for me. What you're sacrificing with those extra modes, red light, strobe, SOS, is that it's gonna be more complicated to use the button system. So they've made it simple and straightforward. They have an individual power, power button for each side of the light. Hold it down to get it on single click to to go through there it doesn't get much simpler than that and when you add in those extra features sos for example even turbo uh, on a lot of headlamps you know you're sitting there double clicking you're sitting there triple clicking you know you're doing a lot of things that you could forget over time you're never going to forget how to use this headlamp it's something that you're just going to put on you're not going to be frustrated with it it's just going to work really well going to give you a lot of light going to give you a lot of runtime and you've got you know just a simple battery read out there so i don't i don't mind not having the red light i don't mind not having the special modes that's no big deal to me one thing that i did notice as a con though is that the headlamp strap itself only stretches out so far so if you pop this open you know you get to a limit there with the two strings now with uh you know a thick head of hair and my real thick uh ice fishing hat I did notice it was a little snug. It fit fine and it was comfortable, but I would not want it any tighter than that, and that was at its loosest setting. So again, I emailed the company and they actually um, have heard of that complaint and they are in the works of upgrading this model to be able to stretch out further. So if you have a really big head or something, uh, you know, you may want to hold off till you get that, that next version. But I find it having no problem just wearing it without a hat, uh, wearing it with a regular, you know, ball cap is just fine. Um, I, I just noticed it when I added a super thick hat on uh, that you know I was at the I was at the limit of uh, of what you could do as far as this headband uh, stretching out. Now of course it is stretchy. You do have a little bit of give there, um, but these strings aren't going to give it all. So that'll be nice when they come out with one that that will accommodate um, you know uh, helmets for example, bigger helmets or bigger. Um, bigger winter hats for example but for just the normal everyday use wearing it on your head it is plenty big enough so what do you guys think fantastic or not fantastic let me know in the comment section below it certainly works for me it's something that i'm going to use and use and use it's got all the features that i would want in a headlamp it'll be awesome when they make those changes to the headband although again it doesn't matter to me i can sit here and dial this it's super comfortable and it's nowhere near being as stretched out uh, as it can go when you just pop that little button on it. So awesome design, awesome operation, everything uh, is you know fantastic in my book for this headlamp. So if you wanna find out more or purchase this headlamp, there will of course be a link in the description below. I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you share it to any friends or family on your social media who you think might be interested in a sweet phoenix headlamp if you haven't already done so please consider clicking that red subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of new videos